Hi, this is Dr. Dave, and in this video we're going to continue with the uh, dueling lines in Desmos assignment, and our goal here is to be able to graph two lines together. One of the lines you're going to be graphing is the one you graphed in part one of the assignment. The other line you're going to graph is one that one of your teammates graphed. So you're going to be able to pull that off of this discussion board, and now you're going to add that to the graph that you were doing before. So to do that, I need to be at desmos.com, like you see here. I'm going to click on Start Graphing. And if you have uh, your line, you could graph it again. However, when I was in here before, I went ahead and logged in into my account, and I saved the graph. I should be able to pull up that graph from before and reuse it. So you can see up here it says Dave, so I know I'm logged in. So I'm going to go over here to the little hamburger you see. Click on it and you'll see right here it says Dueling Lines Part 1. That's the one that I saved before. If I select it, I can go ahead and continue working on this graph from where I was before. So let's say I've got my graph that I did before of 10x plus 12 and now I want to add a second graph to this. So I'm going to go ahead and click. I'm going to do a carriage return and it gives me a place to insert another graph. Now since I called the first graph f of x, the second graph is going to have to be called something different, so I'm going to call it g of x equals, and now the equation you're going to put in here is the equation of one of your teammates graphs. So you'll need to check in the discussion board and pull it off. You want to make sure that you do not use a line that has the same slope as yours. So I don't want to use one that is 10x, a uh, slope of 10. I want to use something else. So I'm going to use uh, 11x plus 13. And when you see me put that on there, automatically you see the two graphs on there. The point of this assignment is to get the two graphs on there and then to find the point of intersection. So you can see the point of intersection must be far off to the left here. So let me grab the graph and move it over. So the point of intersection looks to be about here at negative 1, something like that. So let me go ahead and kind of zoom in on that point. And one of the nice things is I showed you how to change the graph window before. But if you go up to where it says plus and minus up here, you can zoom in and zoom out. So let me zoom in a little bit. So I'm going to click on the plus. I'm going to move the graph over a little bit. Go in one more time. And I think that's pretty good. So if I want to find the point of intersection here, I can click on this. And it looks like it's approximately at negative 1, 2. All right, so now that I have that, I want to save this graph and I want to go and post it in a re reply to the person whose graph I took the 11x plus 13 off of. So let me remind you how to do that. You can either save it to your hard drive or you can go ahead and get an embed code. I'm going to go ahead and get an embed code. So I'm going to go to share graph, click embed, and then right mouse click and say copy. Now let me go over to our Canvas discussion board. There's my reply. So this is the 10x plus 12 that I'm using. And I'm going to go ahead, go down below here, click on HTML editor, and then right mouse click and say paste as plain text, rich content editor, and there it is. Now, I'm going to want to put some information in here. So either at the top or the bottom, you're going to want to tell that person about the graph. So my cursor is down here at the bottom. So I can say the point of intersection of y equals 10x plus 12 and y equals 11x plus 13 is about, and I think we said it was at negative 1, comma 2. So negative 1, 
comma 2. So in part 1, you made your graph. And in part 2 of this assignment, I want to be able to see the two graphs on there. I want you to tell me what the equation of each line is and then where the point of intersection is. If you do all of those things, you have a nice window for each one of these graphs, then you'll get full credit for this assignment.